the Hive Max Red Light Therapy Panel by Blue Blocks has just arrived at my door. So I'm gonna unbox it, we're gonna have a look at it, and uh, I'm gonna share my first impressions. Hey guys, Alex here from AlexVegas.com, and uh, literally an hour ago, this uh, box just turned up. This is the Hive Max Red Light Therapy Panel by a company called Blue Blocks. Now, Blue Blocks are an Australian based company, however, they ship all around the world, and I know they've got quite a big uh, following and customer base over in the States, which is awesome. Um, now, this company has been around for a few years and they have some very cool blue light blocking glasses. Uh, in fact, they're some of the best lenses uh, on the market from a blue and green light uh, filtering point of view, which is great. However, about a year or two ago, they also entered the red light therapy space. Now, if you have watched my work over the years or the last few months at least, you've probably seen one of their products uh, included in my videos, and that was the Blue Blocks Hive, which is this little handheld battery um, red light therapy device. Now, this panel which I have here beside me is their flagship red light therapy product. product. It is the Hive Max, like I said earlier. It is their largest panel. Uh, 200 LEDs, 5 watt LEDs emitting both 660 and 850 nanometer light. Panel comes in at a really good price, uh, 1062 US dollars, but I've got a 15% discount code to share with you guys. So their code is Alex, A-L-E-X, and that will save 15% off, off this panel. Um, plus, I think it works on any other products on their website, so be sure to head over to the website and have a shop around. Uh, now, so when you apply that discount code, it brings the price of this panel down to, did the maths just before, uh, just over $900, which is um, really good value you know, for a large panel. Uh, once you're under that $1,000, I think we're, we're at a good price point. Um, and even better than that, I said yes, they're an Australian company, but they do offer, or well, they ship everywhere uh, across the world, but they do free shipping as well. So, uh, you know, you pay 900 bucks for a panel shipped to your door, which is really cool. But enough about that. What I want to do today is I want to unbox this panel. Uh, I haven't I haven't used or seen one of these panels before, this design. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to share my thoughts and, and feedback on the design, how it looks, and then also we're going to fire it up and I'm going to share my feedback on how it operates, how it runs. Then what I'm going to do is I'll wrap the video up. I'm going to test this panel. Uh, I'm going to use it for a few weeks uh, myself and then I'll come back and do a full review where I get out all my gizmos and gadgets and we'll test the power, the flicker, the EMF, the sound and I'll share my own personal use. But that will come later on. So be sure to subscribe if you want to check out the re that review. In the meantime today what I'm going to do is uh, a quick unboxing, first impressions and share my initial thoughts. Alright, so there's nothing super special about the box. Uh, I was expecting this parcel, so I knew as soon as it turned up uh, what it was. In fact, the only way to identify what it is, is when you look at the um, shipping stickers here, which which have, uh, it's from Blue Blocks, and then um, we've got a little sticker here which has Hive Max. So, uh, nothing really special on the boxing front. Uh, always a little bit of a let, let down. I can understand why companies don't spend too much time on it, but I don't know. I kind of like seeing um, some branding on the box. All right, I'm going to open it up and we'll get it out and see how it looks. All right, that's out of the box. So I've got a smile on my face because um, this is... It's very light. It's weird. Uh, I've only encountered a panel being this light before uh, when I opened the Juve uh, Gen 3, the new Juve panel, because that's like a plastic sort of design, uh, plastic um, frame. Um, this is metal, but it's it's very light. Uh, I think I saw on the website it was eight kilos. It's a little bit weird. In fact, you kind of think it's, that initial impression is like, oh, it's a little bit cheap because I'm so used to heavy ones. Of course, that's, you know, it's not, not necessarily ca the case, but um, yeah, it is lighter. Uh, so, interesting. Uh, as you can see, it's a black design panel. Uh, the LEDs, nothing special on the front, you know, coming right to the edge, which is good. There's no break through the middle, which is also good. You know, some, some panels have those big clusters with a one or two inch gap in the middle. Uh, when you look at the back, you have three large fans, uh, and you've got very little rubber feet in here. Very little ones, but they'll still, they'll still do the job. Now, um, you'll also see that the power points are at the top, right at the top. Now, 
if you've watched my reviews before, you'll know that I, I, I personally hate that. I, I think it should be down the bottom, right? Because otherwise it's just extra cable hanging. Now, the good thing is, the guys from Blue Blocks have said, hey look, this panel is going to arrive, we're updating that in a couple of weeks, and uh, these power points are actually going to be on the side. Now, I don't know where on the side, hopefully it's down the bottom, but they said they want to do that so um, the plugs don't get in the way when you're uh, leaning against the wall. Uh, I think that was the reason. But that, that will be interesting, so we'll, we'll ignore that for now. It does have the modular clips on the, on the top. Yep, it's got the modular capability, so you can get another one of these and hang it on the top. However, it doesn't have a data plug on the back, so you can't daisy chain them and control it all from one control panel. You have to do it uh, independently, which to be honest, isn't a deal breaker. I mean, I've, I've got panels that I have stacked on top of each other and I've never linked them up. I just manually press start on both of them. But um, yeah, anyway, uh, it's worth pointing out. Now um, on the side, we have a, a unique, I guess, uh, control system. I haven't seen this set up before, so we'll come in and take a closer look at that shortly. Uh, and we do have the Blue Locks Hive logo and branding on the side here. Okay, so what was included in the box? Well, we have a, a power cable here, which has a local Australian and New Zealand plug. Always a good thing. Uh, we have the standard door hook we've seen many times. The standard pulley system we've seen many times. Hooks for the top, for hanging it off the top. Seen that many times. Um, your eyeglasses, all your standard stuff we see over and over again. Uh, and then that was it. Oh, we did have this little card. Yeah, that was it from a manual point of view. So unfortunately you have to uh, scan the code or head to the, the address to download the manual. Um, I mean, hey, it's a pretty straightforward unit, but again, I, I've said this over and over, like I'm used to using these panels. If you're buying this for the first time, you need a red light therapy or you're buying this for, you know, your grandparents or something, um, it would be nice just having a few pages. Like I say a few pages and then I go ahead and criticize the, the panels that only have one or two pages uh, included in it. But one or two pages is better than, than this, I think. I mean, I know everything's online, but hey, it doesn't hurt to have a little flyer of how to set it up and how to use it. Uh, but of course, I'm sure they've got a great manual online, so it's not the end of the world. This was right on top of the box when I opened it up, so you wouldn't miss it. Uh, and then they've also got a little promo on the back there, which is neat. What I'm going to do now is plug it all in. We'll fire it up, see how it runs, and see how that control system works. Yeah, so I can see why they're changing where that power, point, power socket goes, because um, leaning it against a wall like that, those rubber feet are made redundant because it's hitting the plug. So, so it's all plugged in now. What I'm going to do is I'll bring the camera in close and we'll have a play with this uh, control panel. So I'm going to turn the power on. Lights up red. I, I, I like this simple to use, simple to know like what's going on. Uh, big switches. You know, this is what all the older panels used to have on the back. Sometimes they had them on the front. You know, you, it's, I don't know, it's kind of clunky in that, but hey, it's just easy to use and, and you know it's working. All right, so um, this has come up with off. Let me play around here, up and down. Oh. There's a there's no feedback on these buttons. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Oh, there we go. I hit red and red light's going. I wonder if there's a dual chip LEDs. Because what's interesting, when I put on the red, I just have red light going. And all the lights are on. And then if I hit near for red. And turn the red off. I know you can't see near infrared, but you can see a very little glow. Now all glowing. So these might be dual chip LEDs, which is very, very neat. And I'm sure that wasn't on the website. Well, that, that's awesome if it is. And that, yeah, I mean, that's really exciting because it, I, don't, I don't know if I've seen a dual chip LED panel that's had 660 and 850. Um, they've always done a little bit differently. So that's really interesting. All right, so back to the control panel. As you can see here, uh, we've got near infrared going at the moment. So the near infrared green light is on. If I hit red, that brings on the red LEDs and you can see the red light going here. Uh, it simply says on, which we know it's going and there's no timer going. Um, if I press up or down, it, it starts the timer. Uh, you can put that all the way up to 30 minutes. I'm assuming the panel will just, the lights will turn off at the end of it, and or you can just leave it on run. 
oh sorry on and it will just run without a timer now this will be the main power switch if i turn that off it cuts power to everything otherwise uh, you can leave that on and turn it on and off here so to be honest it's actually quite a simple yet effective control system main power switch You've got a built-in timer, red, near infrared, and you've got indicators as to which one's going or not. I, I mean, it doesn't look pretty, you know, the white and this big clunky switch here, but it works. I mean, it's just easy. It's it's all you really need in a red light therapy panel, to be honest. A timer, um, the ability to switch between red and near infrared, the ability to adjust the time, and yeah, that's really it. If I if I was getting picky, I mean, I've already talked about the design downfalls, I guess. But if I was getting picky, it would be nice to have on there just counting up, you know. So if you didn't want a timer, you didn't want to set it to 20 minutes or whatever, you just wanted to have a quick session, at least you could look at it after a few minutes and be like, oh, I've done five minutes or 10 minutes or whatever. Um, because obviously we know it's on because the screen's got glowing and so is this switch. So that's probably the only thing um, I would... Yeah, criticize from a practical use point of view. Otherwise, yeah, pretty good. Okay, so I think I've covered everything. Uh, in a nutshell, it's a light panel. Um, it's a good size, 200 odd LEDs. Only 660 and 850 nanometers. Five watt, uh, five watt LED chip though. We should be seeing some good numbers. Uh, though five watt doesn't always mean the best, but it should be it should be up there. Um, reasonably easy to use. Straightforward control system. Accessories, all your basic stuff, nothing fancy there. No manual, you got to go online for that. Uh, but a good price, $900 after the discount code Alex with free international shipping. I think this panel, um, you know, it should review really well. And in fact, I'll be using this in my 2021 comparison series. So I'll be comparing this to the new Juve version 3, the Mito, uh, Mito Red, Mito Pro, the new Biomax 900. Um, and I think with that price point and these LEDs being dual chip, uh, it, could, could do a right, especially with the free shipping as well. So be sure to subscribe because I will be including this in uh, that review and I will be doing a dedicated review and testing this panel later on. I like to use the uh, unit for a few weeks at least or at least a few sessions before I do those reviews just so I can comment on you know how the control panel works, if anything breaks, uh, if there's anything weird or, or really good, like if I notice my health or recovery is different, I, I like to bring all of that information into the reviews rather than just looking at the specs and features that you can find out on the website pretty much so uh, be sure to hang around for that and, and they'll be out in a couple of weeks in the meantime check out all my other videos because i've tested a lot of red light therapy panels and uh be sure to check out my red light therapy data sheet i'll put a link to that below um because i've put all my all the panels i've tested i put all the data into that spreadsheet and i've also got a really good comprehensive red light therapy buyers guide so if you need a red light therapy and you want to buy a panel go check that out as well all right guys i'm heading off to uh I'm actually going to go and um, test the EMF levels with all my um, handheld red light therapy panels next. So uh, I'll be updating my spreadsheet with that and uh, doing a dedicated video for that as well. So if that interests you, hit that subscribe button. Bye guys.